Force on motion basis. Okay, this story is about a young man's life and how he shows us what are force and motion basics. So let's start. Start off with him walking across the road with a swaggering manner. This young man's name is Bob Cobb, or Daquan if he's in the mood. When he was walking across the road, people started yelling at him to hurry up and cross. But as usual, he didn't care. The traffic lights turned green, and Bob got ran out, got hit by a truck. He then was brought to the hospital, but who cares about that? Let's go to the more important part. Okay, during when he got hit by the truck, he was demonstrating the forces of imbalanced forces. When forces are opposite in direction and equal in magnitude, it is an unbalanced force. But opposite in dir- but the opposite in direction situation is not more about this and this. Wait, what? It's not in this situation. It's more about the unequal in magnitude situation. Do you know about Newton's first law? Well, it has some doings in this accident. For example, when the truck hit Bob, it didn't stop, but kept on going. That's a demonstrated example. Now, let's get back to the story. After a few months, Bob finally got out of the hospital. He wanted to go to the bar. So, he got drunk and was thrown out with empty pockets by these two security guards. The two bodyguards threw him out in the dumpster. This event that just happened is showing us some force and motion basics. The two bodyguards throwing Bob out into the dumpster is an example of cooperating forces. What is it, you ask? It is two forces that are same in direction and exerting and that and are exerting forces with the same or different amount of magnitude. Magnitude is strength of force. So there's there he is lying in the dumpster looking dead with absolute no mood. At the time he is also showing another force in motion basis. How? Because he's not moving at all. This is an example of balance forces. Balance forces are when there are equal magnitudes exerted in different directions. In this case, the forces that are in active is gravity that pulls him towards the earth and the garbage that holds him still. Now, he woke up at home trying to find something to do. He wanted to learn about non-contact and contact first. But first, you gotta learn about force and motion. Force is a push or pull. Motion is movement. Force cause motion and also cause objects to not be in motion. Cause positive and negative mag- Acceleration. Force are described by magnitudes or strength and direction. They are, they are also measured in newtons. There are two types of forces, contact and non-contact forces. Let's see how Dupont show us an example of non-contact force. That's it? Yeah, that's us. Oh, well, we done. Save it. Save it. How am I supposed to save it? Stop.